Hey everybody, just doing a little palette cleanser here. Uh, Dan Voigt fret, uh, dressed the frets on the Wonder Bat uh, last week and the frets look so good and they feel so good. Dan uh, compared it to when you get your teeth cleaned and you're just like, mm, that's amazing. It's, it's like that. <laughs> um, and I had him put on a set of the uh, Unobtainium EXP 74 CMs, one of my last sets, and it's just such a breath of fresh air to go back to these strings. They just sound good, they feel good, they're just right, and it's a shame that uh, you can't get them anymore. I can never remember which one that is. Is that Chili Dog or... It's on Dog 90. It's one of my favorite dog tunes. Um, just kind of dug that one back out of the vault. Uh, this was one when uh, my son Charlie was born. I would sit around and practice this at a captive audience, and he really liked listening to Dog 90 while I played along. And he's a little less excited now at 20 months old uh, to watch me play. Um, but used to play that all the time. Um, and I just love when the flute comes in with that. And then Joe Craven with his whole tss. <laughs> tss. I once saw Joe Craven kick off a set for DGQ with a Starbucks cup. He went out by himself and started playing on a Starbucks cup. And then I'm trying to remember who was on bass. Uh, but anyway, bass player comes out and Joe starts playing percussion on the side of the bass and then the rest of the band made their way out. But that was pretty amazing to watch. Um, anyway, so yeah, loving these strings. Wish there were others like them. Uh, still haven't tested everything. That may take me months because I'm gonna test a ton of stuff. A bunch of y'all have sent requests for things for me to test. And I will test them pretty much anything that isn't light gauge and anything that is within the spectrum of what would work for a bluegrass string. I'm going to try even things that I think I might not like. Uh, so anyway, this is the palette cleanser. I just don't want to take these strings off.
Dress, written by Tom, An uh, Tom Espinola on a great album uh, called Which Way Walks. All right, well, I guess I'm going to sign off, but I uh, just wanted to play this a little bit with the fret dress. If you need setup work done, Dan Voigt does really amazing work. He's here in Nashville, and uh, he's the one that always sets up my stuff. Uh, anyway, all right, I guess I'll see you all in the next string testing video. It could be a little while because I don't want to waste this really fantastic set of EXP 74 CMs. Bye, everybody.